Hi, I'm Sal. I'm a committee member for the Current Artist Award. And today I'm going to talk about a piece that's resonating with me in the TAMS collection. Today I'm going to talk about Jacob Lawrence's work called Aspiration. This is a lithograph on paper produced in 1988. When I see this artwork, I feel really invited to the table with this intimate couple. The feeling it gives you is really one of ease, comfort, and familiarity. While I don't know the story of this particular couple, I can certainly experience their joy as they both kind of indulge in their activities and in the presence of one another. One of the stylistic choices that Lawrence brings to his work is one that is creating these moments in time, whether it's in regards to social issues, spirituality, joy, but especially everyday life. And by placing the couple kind of at the center of this image, he really gives us an insider view into their everyday life and what they're experiencing. He also plays with depth on many levels, and he sets up this kind of contrast by putting this kind of like bright red building up against this contrasting gray, which really kind of sets the tone and environment of like this almost very active outside world versus this really calm and ease inside with the muted gray. And then you have these kind of like pops of color, which really kind of create this warmth and familiarity that I, I feel like he's trying to express with this particular work. And when you look at the two figures in the image, you really kind of get a feel of that ease as well. You can see that Lawrence is kind of emphasizing their bodies by using kind of more round shapes. And you can also see this in just their overall softness and flatness of the image itself. Um, and this is how he's emphasizing that these, these two figures are really kind of familiar with one another and they're also very relaxed. And you can tell this too from a lot of Jacob Lawrence's work in the past when he's kind of emphasizing, you know, characters in struggle, they tend to be more inward, they tend to be a lot more boxier or square. But in this one, you can see that these figures are much more round and more soft. And I also want to call attention to some of the detail with their body language. For example, the feminine figure in this image, you know, she's, she's kind of resting in this soft position and she kind of has her hand almost like scooped around her belly, almost as if she's like, laughing. I was almost like there, these two are in this like very joyous moment. They are very familiar with each other. Um, and then there's this, there's this ease and pleasure between the two and their activities that they're doing. And so I really, really enjoyed that. And I think overall what this piece is trying to get to is like really centering us in the moment. Like he's giving us magic in the moment by creating this setting and this scene with one another. And really what it also makes me think about in terms of the title when we say aspiration, what does like aspiration mean in this context and in this space? And what I'm you know, interpreting from this work of art is aspiration is really about you know, finding these moments in everyday life and, and appreciating the simplicity. And I also want to say that I get that as well from this like floral arrangement that's part of the centerpiece, right? There's this simplicity in the moment of just being with one another. And that can be really aspirational for so many of us. And I know personally that's very aspirational for me. And I just love that that's, that message is there. It makes me want to push myself to, as a viewer, to challenge myself to continue to say what is aspirational. Um, and what is aspirational for me. And I think when I think about this work in the context of the current, I often, oftentimes think about what is aspirational to artists in this community right here. And the current is a, is a way of going with the flow of what artists needs are for today. And they have to have room to be able to think about what is aspirational to them in their work, right? And this can be changing all the time, right? And so we have to, we have to give room to that. And one of the things that I continue to think about with this work is this was produced in 1988, which is much later in the artist's life, right? And so I wonder what his aspirations were at this point in his life when he made this. This is so different from a lot of the work you see, which is focused on you know, social issues and social justice and what is happening around us in the world. And to, to be invited to see this setting and this scene is really such a special moment. And it's part of the reason why this is resonating with me especially as we enter the new year, it's really a pleasure to see someone else's joy and to be a part of that. And especially when you think about the scale of the image, like you really feel invited to be a part of this experience with this couple, so I love this work. Thank you so much for joining us on The Current Corner. We hope to catch you on the next segment.